What's up guys, Brian here. I'm down in the Gecko Lab and today I'm bringing you a product review video. This is the Thrive 18 by 18 by 24 inch Tropicals Essential Kit. So a little bit of background info before we cut this guy up and see what's inside. Some of you may remember a few years back I did a review and comparison of the Zoomed Crested Gecko Starter Kit versus the Exoterra Crested Gecko Starter Kit. Now both of those kits were a 12 by 12 by 18 inch cage and they both if memory serves were right around $150 each. Now I don't remember if those guys are still on sale now. I think it was about three years ago that I did that review but I do think they are still for sale. So right off the bat I can tell you I like this kit so much more than the Zoomed or the Exoterra because well, for one, it's an 18 by 18 by 24 inch cage, so you get a bigger cage, which is better for your geckos. Just by looking at it, I can see it comes with so much more stuff than either the Zoomed or the Exoterra did. And guys, this thing, $180. I was at Petco, or sorry, PetSmart, I believe is where I got this. PetSmart, it's a big chain rep, big chain pet store here in the United States. I was in there uh, just picking up a couple bags of moss for some cages I'm building and I saw this guy sitting on the shelf. I said, oh, I got to grab that so I can do a review of it because this looks awesome. $180, I can tell you right now, is a steal for this cage. A 12, or sorry, an 18 by 18 by 24 inch Exoterra glass cage, virtually the same exact thing as this cage, empty with nothing in it, is $200 on Amazon right now. This is 20 bucks cheaper and it comes with all this stuff inside. I can't wait to bust this open and see if it's as good as it looks and if this is going to be my new go-to recommendation kit for people looking to get a crested gecko. Let's go ahead, cut this open and see what it's got. All right, I gotta go ahead and cut this guy off here. I am going to, uh, I think I'm gonna lean this over so I can actually get inside of it. And we can start pulling stuff out. Let's see how am I going to do this without breaking it. There we go. Perfect. As you can see, this is a much bigger cage than the last one I reviewed. But that is all the better for your geckos. The 12 by 12 by 18 inch cage is the bare minimum size for one adult gecko. This is much better. So first things first, let's take a look at the lid here. I like this already because as you can see right here on the lid, there is a little pop out thing. So if you're putting a uh, fogger, if you got one of those foggers, you can uh, get an adapter to put that hose right in here to drop your fog in here. If you got a misting system, you can put it in here. It's kind of a big hole, so it might be tough to get stuff to fit in here and not leave a hole for your geckos to get out. But I do like that a lot better. Oh, look at that. If you just twist it, it does give you a small hole. If you're just running a power cord for a pump, for a waterfall or something like that, that would work. That would also be a good size for a mister nozzle if you have a mist king system. Really cool little adapter on the top so you don't have to spray water right through your screen cage because inevitably these screen cages all end up rusting. So already, great design on the top. Let's go ahead and pull this cardboard insert out. What is this paper they got hiding at the back here? Come here. It is a, oh, it's a bunch of coupons. Sweet, look at this. So you take this into PetSmart and it comes with coupons, already a great deal. You've got a coupon for 12 free crickets, 50% off 50 count mealworms, 20% off any Thrive freeze-dried food. I don't know what kind of animals they sell food for, but I'm gonna have to look into that, maybe bring you a review on those. Freeze dried tells me it's probably not any good. 20% uh, off any Thrive decor item. That one I like because a lot of the Thrive products I have reviewed, the decor items, the moss, that kind of stuff, I love it. I really am liking this product line. 20% off any Thrive light bulb and 20% off any Thrive substrate. 
That's awesome. You get coupons right off the bat. You didn't see those in the Exoterra or the Zoomed, did ya? Two dome lamps. Look at that. All right. All right, we got everything out of the cage. I'm going to stand this guy back up. Perfect. Do not want to break that thing. All right. I like it. I like it. I like it. So first things first, right here, two, this comes with two five and a half inch dome lamps. Now, if you're using any sort of light or heat source for your geckos, you definitely want a reptile specific dome lamp. I've talked about this before. And the reason is this part right here, the ceramic element at the top. This is because Ooh, that was a nice sound. This is because if you put a heat lamp on a normal lamp, like something help, made to hold a desk lamp, you're gonna melt the crap out of it. You're gonna start your house on fire and everybody's gonna die. Results may vary, may not be that bad, but definitely want a ceramic heat lamp because this will dissipate the heat. It will not melt down. You can put an enormously powerful heat bulb in here for a hot weather tropical species and it will not have an issue. These are, I don't, God, I wish I would have looked up what these cost if you just go buy one of these from Zoomed. I guarantee you it's $20, $30 with no bulb. You get two of these bad boys in here. One for UV light, one for a heat lamp, one for a night light moon type lamp, one for a UV daytime lamp. Whatever you want to do, you get two of them. $180 for this kit. If this cage is any decent quality, this is the deal of a lifetime. Ooh, they come in with built-in on-off switches. I like that. How did I not notice that? Look at that. On-off switches. So you do not have to unplug and plug in these every time you want your lamps to go off. Or, of course, you can hook them to a timer, which I would recommend you do. What else do we have in here? Ooh, the dome lamps. One more thing on the dome lamps, guys. They also come with this nifty little thing, which is a hanger. So sold separately obviously but you can get a lamp hanger that it's like a big l bar that goes over the top and then it'll hang it right here over the top of your cage so you don't have to set this on the top of your cage if you need to open the top for any reason awesome good little inclusion there what else do we got here they also include you guys have seen this before the thrive natural compressed cocoa fiber bedding I've used this before. A lot of my lay boxes for my crested geckos use this exact product. I've showed it before in videos. Awesome stuff. There's a couple different brands that make this, but the Thrive brand is very nice, as good as anything else. Great that they include this in here. Again, the Zoomed and the Exoterra did not include any kind of bedding. This is awesome. These things, this is one brick, I think is nine bucks, I think for this brick, if you go buy it. Well worth it. What else do we have here? Let's open this guy up. The clean background. So these are okay. I don't prefer to use these. I do believe one of the Exoterra or Zoomed, I don't remember which brand it was, one of them did come with a similar background. But these are a clean, they're kind of like the uh, like window decals for your car. They're like static electricity keeps them on or the you know, you get like some like Christmas decorations you stick on your window and it's a big Santa Claus face or something like that you get for your kids. That's what these are. That's how these work. So you just peel the backing off and it's just plastic and it just clings onto there. But I don't really like these. I think they're kind of cheap. I think they don't look very good. Um, they hold up okay. I'm just not a big fan of them, but it's a good option. It'll fit, cover the whole backside. And, you know, if you don't want to put any more money into a background for your cage, it comes with it. They're a decent option. I just don't like the way they look, but it's something, again, something that is a better option than the Zoomed or the Exoterras gave you. Let's see what else we got. Look at this. Light bulbs. A 13 watt UVB bulb and a daytime heat bulb. This guy is a 60 watt, which would good enough to give you a nice hot spot on the top of this cage. So say you want to use this cage for a day gecko. You've got a heat lamp to heat your day gecko up and a UVB lamp because day geckos need UVB. Also with crested geckos, UVB not required for crested geckos, but it is beneficial to them. They will bask in it. So that is awesome. Again, 
a 13 watt UVB bulb like this is, God, I don't wanna say 20 bucks just for the bulb. You get it free in this kit. That's incredible that they include two bulbs and two dome lamps in this. Such a good deal. One other thing they added in here is a thermometer and a hygrometer combo. Tell you your temperature as well as your humidity level. Really nice. Let's open this up and see how it looks. I wonder if it's got an adhesive on the back. It looks like it does. That is going to be uh, kind of like a 3M strip. If you guys have ever used those, it's going to be sticky on the back. Stick that off, put it right inside your cage. Um, these are okay. It'll give you an ambient temperature for the cage, but it's not always accurate because it's right up against the glass wall. And if you have a hot spot, it doesn't tell you what temperature your hot spot's at. So I definitely recommend getting either a infrared thermometer or a different probe thermometer to hook up to a thermostat, something like that. But it's nice that they include it. It gives you something for a starting point to kind of monitor the overall temperatures and humidity in your cage. It's worth having. It's nice that they throw it in. The next thing that they have included is a bendable vine here. So check this guy out. Does it have, it does not feel like this has a metal, it does not. So this does not have a metal insert. Most of these jungle vines, bendable vines that you get, they have a metal wire going through them. So you can bend it to whatever shape you want and it'll hold that shape. This one obviously is not holding any shape. It does not have a metal bar in it. Pros and cons to that. Um, pros are there's no metal ends sticking out that'll poke your geckos. Uh, you can cut it and you won't have a metal end sticking out to, to poke your gecko. And eventually these break down and they kind of break. And with the other ones, you can get a piece of metal that sticks out and pokes your gecko. Cons to this, it's not gonna hold a shape that you want. So it's gonna be hard to put up, especially in a cage like this with nothing to attach it to no suction cups, nothing built on the walls to hook this into. I mean, what are you gonna do with this? Just set it there like that, because that doesn't do any good. You need some way to wind it around to give your gecko something to climb on. So it's a decent vine. It's nice that it's got leaves attached. It's a nice vine, but without adding extra stuff, it's essentially useless. It's not gonna do you much good. So it's a nice inclusion, but you are going to have to buy something, suction cups or something to get that to stick up. And the last thing included here is a, hmm, how does this work? Oh, I see. It is a food dish. This is a really interesting way that they've done this food dish. Uh, it's kind of cheap. I was hoping it was a more solid substance. This is really light. It's like styrofoam. I was hoping it was a rock that would go on the side of your cage, but it's not. It's like painted styrofoam, which I don't particularly like because if you feed live insects in your cage, crickets and mealworms will both eat this, which in itself is bad because then you have prey items eating your interior decorations. And also, you know, when your cricket eats a bunch of this and then your gecko eats the cricket, your gecko is essentially eating styrofoam, which isn't healthy. Uh, the plus side to this, it's lightweight, so we'll see if it sticks to the glass better because it doesn't weigh anything. It does come with these really cheap, flimsy plastic dishes that sit in the holes here. Um, it would be nice if they gave you like a stack of these because these are really cheap. I don't even know if they're meant to be used for food, but clearly you couldn't put food straight on here. It's styrofoam. It would soak in and get really gross. Also, when your gecko poops and spills their food all over this, it's hard to clean because it's styrofoam. This is a bit of a letdown. I was really hoping this was a, a rock, like a magnetic ledge, a plastic or epoxy one like a lot of other companies make. That does not seem to be the case. The interesting part on this, whoops, I broke it. I gotta grab that, hold on guys. Most ledges like this you see are magnetic. You got a magnet on one side, a magnet on the other, holds it on and that works great. This one has some sort of weird, it's got a like a, a, like a, like a, a handle that screws on and then as it screws, it tightens down this plate which has the same kind of cling wrap as the background it looks like. 
So I guess in theory, if you stick it on there and then you tighten the handle down, except I spun it the wrong way, righty tighty lefty loosey, Brian. This is not rocket science. So in theory, you stick that on there and then you reach underneath it, twist it down and it pulls the, the plastic plate back away from the glass, which creates suction and in theory will hold that guy on. That actually seems to work pretty well. Um, let's put something heavy on it and see if it holds. One light bulb, two light bulbs and oh yeah, that's way heavier. That's, I mean, that's five or six geckos worth of weight there. And that's going nowhere. It does kind of spin a little, but it certainly is not falling off. So that's nice. I wonder how well that will hold up to being sprayed long term. And even when you unscrew it, that guy is stuck. I kind of like that system. I do really like this attachment system. I just wish this was a higher quality feed, feeding ledge. But overall, not too bad. I'll give that one like a B, like a B, not terrible, not great. And then your little food dishes, I got those are really kind of, I bet they've got to sell some sort of something for this. Does it say anything in here? Oh, you're actually supposed to put the suction cup on and then, look at this guys. The whole suction cup part slides out of this, supposedly according to the directions. You know what? I feel like I'm gonna break this because it's so flimsy trying to get the suction cup out. I'm not even gonna take it out. I would just do it just like that. You can reach under there just fine. You can tighten it down just fine without pulling. You can pull the whole suction cup off, put that on and then slide the ledge back onto it. But honestly, it's jammed in there so tight. I feel like I'm gonna break this styrofoam ledge trying to get it off. And other than that, it just has those two feeding dishes, which is kind of sad because these are really flimsy and cheap and not going to last long. And then what are you going to do? Just pour food right on the styrofoam? That's not going to last. So let's look at it all one more time. I want to look at, before we go back over everything, the last thing I need to look at is how does the door for this work? And I wonder if this is waterproof. I'm going to do some research because I just opened this. I've never seen this any more than you guys have. So I'm gonna do some research and see if this is waterproof on the bottom. If it is or is not, I will put that up on the screen now to let you know if you could fill this with water if you wanted to do a live vivarium with like a, a water pond feature with some fish or something like that. And then other than that, it looks like the lock there. And it's taped shut. Of course it's taped shut. Let's pull this tape off. There we go. I want to see how this door works. Uh, so the glass thickness, not too, th it, it could be a little bit thicker glass. It's a bit flimsy. The locking mechanism isn't great. I don't love that there's no locking mechanism at the bottom because something big, could you see how that's opening right there? You can flex that open. If you had a snake or something in here, it could push its way out of that. I do not particularly love this locking mechanism because it only hooks at the top corner. But other than that, the door, it's fairly sturdy. Seems to be on par, I'd say, with the Exoterra and Zoomeds. It does have this nice ventilation panel at the top that I really like to help combat those mold issues that you see a lot for cages that end up staying too wet. It's got plenty of room at the bottom for substrate. Um, like I said, you'll know by now if I put it up on the screen, if this is waterproof, if this is rated to hold water or not. Looking at it, I suspect it's not, but I could be wrong. You guys know that by now and I do not. Other than that, um, my impressions overall, I'm, I'm fairly impressed with this. It's not quite as nice as I hoped when I first picked it up at the store, but it comes with your feeding dish. I would give a B2, great suction system, poor quality dish. Your background, I would give a B minus. Cheap background, I don't like the way they look, but it is something and they do work effectively. Two dome lights, guys, I give this an A plus 
because those are expensive to buy on their own and I'm shocked they included them in this kit. Two light bulbs. Again, I am, oops, got them stuck together. A plus, I am shocked that they included two bulbs and two dome lights in this. That alone makes this kit worth it. The cocoa bedding also obviously is an A plus. I use this all the time. The meter, I would give like a B2 because they don't work all that well, but it is nice to have something to get you started. And that's everything. That, oh, the vine, the vine that I dropped inside because there's no way to actually use it. Uh, like I said, I'm going to give that a C, C minus. Decent vine, not great, not bendable, and no way to put it in place. So it's essentially useless. But I mean, it's something, I guess. So let's, I mean, what are my overall thoughts here? I like this. For the price, I don't think you can beat this. $180 for this kit. It's at PetSmart. I do believe it's a PetSmart exclusive for the price. I don't think you can beat this, guys. The cage, not quite the same quality as a Zoomed or an Exoterra. But again, for the price, just this cage empty from Zoomed or Exoterra is $200. This cage, plus all the stuff, especially the dome lights, which is something that most people don't give their crested geckos because it's just too expensive. You get it with it in the cage. I would have liked to see added to this cage um, some sort of decoration for the inside, a big structure of some kind, something for them to climb on and hide in, as well as a bag of food, but I don't think Thrive makes crested gecko food, which is why they didn't include it. Other than that, I think this is a really good kit. Definitely worth it for the money. If you're looking for a starter kit to begin building a good crested gecko cage, I absolutely recommend this. This and maybe another $100 worth of really high-end accessories would get you a perfect cage that your gecko could live in for the majority of its life. The Thrive Rainforest Starter Kit. If you're looking to get a first gecko, I recommend this is a good place to start. Head over to PetSmart, pick one up, and then cruise right by their reptile section because you don't want to buy one of their geckos. Go to a good local reputable breeder to pick out a good healthy gecko. Echo. Anyways, that's going to do it for me on this one today, guys. Thank you so much. If you have any other questions about this kit, if there's anything you wanted to know about it that I didn't mention, or you have any other comments, please leave them down below. I am Brian, AltitudeExotics.com, that's slash AE Geckos on Facebook and Instagram. I really, really appreciate you guys joining me. Have yourselves a wonderful day.